Assalamu alaikum. My next review is on, is another one of the comparison videos between three replicas. One is from India, one is from Lahore, and the one is from Lahore, and the other one is from Karachi. Uh, all are similar yet different. So I'm just going to share with you what the differences are. Mm -hmm. There is a slight bit of a price difference. We have got one at uh, eighteen pounds, one at twenty five pounds, and this one although it was retailing at 25 pounds we've reduced these to 20 pounds a suit so you've got a different combination because we've got quite a few different ones i want to give you the choice of buying whichever one you like and whichever one you think now these ones are actually very good value for money they have got net the batas. they're the only ones with the proper net the batas. these are from india and uh, you are getting a true value because there is a lot of patches and so on with these suits okay you have got the full border now i've already shown these this came in like a few colors and uh, this is the full border that goes around the full of the dupatta and these are all the patches with this a full neckline beautifully embroidered and the color combination on this is stunning this is a slightly thicker cotton uh, a li just a little bit thicker than the lawn uh, of the other suits now um, this resembles a lot uh, apart from the difference in the fabric it's just slightly slightly coarser uh, otherwise this suit is a true replica of the original um, in many ways it matches perfect 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 now I've not seen the other two, I've only arrived today, so I've not seen this. This one you are getting a true bargain because it is as close as possible and for £20, you know, the price is very, very reasonable. I mean, I have sold these and a lot of uh, retailers around across the country are selling these at 20, £25 a suit. So at £20 a suit, this is a true bargain. Now this one at 18, I'm going to show you. In some ways, I like the dupattas on these and the fabric as well, especially for the hot weather that we've got at the moment. Okay, so that's the second one. The pictures are exactly the same. Um, the print on this is slightly more, slightly different to the Indian replica. It has the similar border. And the variation is actually quite similar okay so that's the that's the bottom border and then as it goes up yeah as it goes up it sort of like mellows down now with this you've got the printed chiffon dupatta uh, with the others you've got net dupatta with this one is pure chiffon and the pattern on it is quite similar to what you've got on the uh, on the dress and so on the kameez before i go and show you the patches this is the kameez again this has got full border on the sides and generally what happens is this border gets uh, taken off and then uh, reapplied wherever you need to now the fabric on this is ample Mm -hmm. probably the biggest difference between this and uh, the indian replica is maybe you'll have a little bit less fabric on that this is the sleeves and then that's the front and the back okay the fabric on this is really nice and soft uh, the borders um, that's the neckline full embroidery on the neckline uh, and then this is the patch for the dama so the patch variation, there is a slight bit of a colour variation on this, but overall, a beautiful suit at £18, you know what, I, I can't believe, you know, the, the prices on these suits, because it is ridiculously, ridiculously low. They are exceptional value for money, because the fabric is just absolutely gorgeous. At £18, you know what, you just cannot go wrong. Okay, I'm going to show you the £25 one as well. Let's just put this to a side. Now this is supposed to be a master master replica. And this is a major master replica. Now let's see what they have to offer. Okay, the fabric is um, similar, but uh, the dye, the fabric uh, 
color of the print is slightly bit bolder. That's the Silverado fabric. Got the Rebecca, which is more darker. Again, it's on chiffon. And then you've got the Camise. With a beautiful print. Again, it's a really nice, soft, lawn fabric not see-through or anything and this hasn't got unlike the other fabric that had a border to a side this one hasn't got a border but it has got this uh, border at the bottom um, so it all depends on what patches you've got now let's have a look what they've supplied with this it's supposed to be as original as possible so okay this is the neckline done on green organza and it's very nicely pretty embroidery that is the piece for the daman the embroidery is exceptional and then you've got another piece of beautiful embroidery and that would be for either the sleeves or yes for the sleeves so it's really really nice and worth the money worth every bit of 25 pounds because you know the patches the embroidery i mean i remember buying when i had the shops you know stuff like this i think fabric prices overall have jumped down considerably because you could not get i tell you even going back a year or so ago um i normally generally go to the bazaar and look at you know stuff and often have bought stuff as well but nothing at all like this for this kind of prices so yeah a very good one for me because the fabric quality uh, do you know what i've moved up we've all moved away from chiffons and so on and i absolutely love this fabric so comfortable to wear and just wash and wear and uh, true value for me anyway that's uh, the three variations i hope you've liked these and i look forward to hearing from you don't forget it's the month of ramadan it's the month of giving so when you do make a purchase i'm trying to remind everyone even if it's a small donation try if you're buying something and it's 28 pounds please please try and pay 30 pounds give the two pound as your sadka which is going to be the beneficial thing for you so alhamdulillah every person that i've actually spoken to and requested they've not turned me down and inshallah i am looking for quite a good sum at the end of the month to give to this worthy cause so actually i'm going to try and uh, push you all to be generous and to join me and when you buy it your clothes give a little bit of sadka on top of them because that is going to be ultimately the thing that is going to be your savior and my savior inshallah so mine is just an effort your giving i'm sure will help uh, the less fortunate now i was earlier on i was trying to write uh, an article on my facebook page and I, you know what i feel so blessed that um, in my early youth because the village that i come from they don't have a school for girls and uh, if I had lived there, guaranteed I would be would have been similar to all the other ladies in my villages and so on. You know, not knowing anything. Alhamdulillah, Allah Ta'ala has blessed me with a chance to get a good education, uh, even at this stage of my life. So uh, that's a chance that, you know, we should try and give to others because we are so fortunate. And there are people in the world who are a lot, lot less fortunate than us so you know what we all we are all answerable and therefore try and give something so that when we are answered we have something to fall back on inshallah may allah give you all edges and the tawfiq to help me in this worthy course so as we go and spend these nights i mean i've been up most night uh, trying to do videos on this and this is a worldly thing 
and the thing that compensates for this worldly thing is me encouraging others to help uh, encouraging you guys to help me in this worthy cause so that way i'm not just chasing the dunya we're doing something for our akhirat as well so i really 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 hope that i get some positive feedback from you guys even if you can't donate and uh, you know your your situation is i'm not going to judge anyone everybody um is you know has their own liabilities and but you know share the video give a few good comments at least give words of encouragement encourage your family members encourage your children to give because ultimately we all got to do our bit inshallah i'll join you again soon